Hey, Donovan here. In this video today, I am going to dive into whether or not you should use retargeting as part of your Facebook ad strategy as a martial arts school owner. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let's just get straight into it. Awesome. So as I said, in this video today, I'm going to be diving into the idea of retargeting as a martial arts school. Now, the reason I'm creating this video is because over the years I've been doing this, lots of martial arts school owners have asked me, Donovan, should I be using retargeting ads? Now, before I dive into my answer for that, and disclaimer, my answer is no, <laughs> but before I dive into my answer for that, I just want you to completely understand what a retargeting ad is um, on the base and, and on the face of it. What is a retar retargeting ad? Now, when it comes to Facebook ads and advertising, we are obviously guessing the type of people who we think are going to click on our ad. So, for example, you might just be running an adult course, so you might be targeting men in your area, or you might be targeting men and women in your area over the age of 25 to like 55. That is your cold audience. So whenever you run Facebook ads, you are targeting a cold audience. You're going to get a large percentage of those people who don't actually know who you are. And what you're hoping is you're hoping that they click on your ad and take action. Now, that's the same for other businesses like Nike, for example they would do the same. They would guess what their type of audience would be. They would target them with ads and it would literally look like this. So let's imagine Nike, if they were running a Facebook ads campaign, they would probably target people who are interested in clothing, um, sporty people. They would target that sort of demographic. And once they run their Facebook ads, they'd be targeting a range of people. So like probably like 10 million, 20 million people in their cold audience. Now, out of that cold audience, there's going to be a small percentage of people who actually click on their ads. That would probably be between one and 3% of these people who would actually click on their ads. Now, after a few weeks and spending lots of money, they would start running something called a retargeting ad towards the people who were clicking on the ad. So they would retarget people who had clicked on the ad but didn't actually buy anything because those are a little warmer, the closer towards actually taking action and actually purchasing. So that's what a retargeting ad is. It's when you run an ad towards a cold audience and then you take the percentage of those people who actually took some sort of action and then push more ads towards them because you know they are closer to actually buying. On the face of it, it works incredibly well. Um, and for businesses like Nike and other businesses that can target millions and millions of people and spend thousands and thousands of pounds, it works really well for them and is incredibly profitable. So out of this cold audience, one to 3% of people will click on the ad. They will then run a Facebook ad only targeting that one to 3% and then not get loads of them signed up. If it was a service, get loads of them signed up or if it was a product, sell to loads of them. It's incredible. Retargeting ads work really, really well but not for martial arts school owners. I am yet to find a single martial arts school, and we've worked with over 190 martial arts school, schools um, on our paid services, and I've worked with lots and lots more through like YouTube and free content and stuff like that. I'm yet to find one martial arts school who are successfully using retargeting ads and getting better results than they are from their cold ads. And I'll dive into why that is now. So first and foremost, when you run Facebook ads as a martial arts school, you can only target people like five to six kilometers from your martial arts school. Any further than that, they're not really going to travel from. Maybe in some small towns, you can target like eight kilometers or nine kilometers or 10 kilometers. But realistically, you're stuck at the radius around your martial arts school, whatever that radius will be. So some martial arts schools have like 30,000 people they can target. Other martial arts schools are a little more lucky and can target like 100,000 people. But realistically, Nike and other huge businesses that successfully use retargeting campaigns, they're targeting millions and millions of people in their cold audience. So your cold audience is much, much smaller than those sort of businesses. Now, from there, one to three percent of people when you run your Facebook ads will click on your ads. Awesome. But if you retarget those people, it's not going to be as powerful for you as it is for those other businesses. And the reason is it's going to be very, very expensive for you to run a retargeting ad. And this is the reason why. If out of 30,000 people, one percent have actually clicked on the ad, that's 300 people. So if you then run a retargeting ad to that those 300 people, 
it's going to be very expensive for you to run that ad. Very, very expensive for you to run that ad. How Facebook works is if you give them a broader range of people to target or a large range of people to target, your CPM will be fairly low. And that's your cost to advertise. So your cost to advertise in your area without getting too technical will probably probably be about six to seven pounds for every 1,000 people that you reach. Now, if you run a retargeting campaign and only target the 200 to 300 people who actually clicked on your ad, well, your CPM is probably going to go up to like 20 to 30 pound and you're not going to get any results from the ad. That's what we find for martial arts calls. We find that when we try and use retargeting ads and when we have used retargeting ads in the past, it's that expensive to target the people that we're trying to target that realistically, if we just tested more creatives to the cold audience, we'd actually get better results than the retargeting ads get. I'm yet to find a single martial arts call, as I said, that get better results from their retargeting ads than they do from their cold ads. So we just stick to cold ads personally. And I'll dive into what you should be focusing on if you wanna get the best results in a moment. If you are watching this and you're like, Donovan, I'm using retargeting ads and I'm getting much better results than I am on my cold ads, then feel free to reach out and I'm happy to retract this statement. <laughs> if, if genuinely I can see that retargeting ads are working really, really well. But for most martial arts schools, they just don't work better. Now, if you are a martial arts school and you literally have hundreds of different locations all across, I don't know, there's a martial arts school that I know who's got loads and loads of locations all across Cornwall. And his targeting area, he can target people in Cornwall. So he can just target the whole of Cornwall and further with his Facebook ads. If that's you, then you've obviously got a higher amount in your cold audience, which means retargeting may work. But for most martial arts schools where you've got like one to three locations, retargeting isn't gonna beat your cold audiences. Um, just my opinion. Awesome. So as I said, this is actually what usually happens when martial arts school owners try and utilize retargeting ads. So they'll take the population in their area. One to 3% of those people will click on your ad. You then retarget these people. The ad will be very expensive to run. The ad will actually perform worse than the original ad that you were running. And then you'll cry and want to give up. And I don't want that to happen to you. So the true way for you to actually get results when talking about retargeting ads is don't do retargeting ads. What you need to do is you need to spend less time testing different audiences. So don't, you know, run three different campaigns and one of the campaigns is trying to target my, retarget my audience and this campaign's targeting the younger side of the audience and this campaign's targeting the older side of the audience. Don't do any of that. Just spend more time testing different creatives. Just target everyone in your area and do different images and different videos and this video and I'll try this image and I'll try this image and just try different creatives. And that's the best way to bring your cost per lead down massively. The reason why you're thinking about doing retargeting ads is because you want a lower cost per lead. If instead of testing retargeting ads, you threw up three new campaigns and tried different images and different videos you've never run before, I guarantee you, you'll bring your cost per lead down probably drastically. So that's what you need to be more focused on. Instead of trying to do retargeting or thinking about a different audience to target, literally just do more testing with your creatives, your images and your videos. I'm not going to dive into how to do that because I've got lots of videos across my entire YouTube channel that will literally show you step by step how to test creatives in the way that we do to bring down your cost per lead. But that's what you need to be more focused on. Instead of focusing on retargeting or trying different audiences, literally just launch more creatives more frequently and you'll get a lower cost per lead that i promise you hey i hope that helps i made this video because i had a martial arts school owner recently asked me should he be using retargeting ads and i wanted to answer that question not only for him but also for all of you guys who have that same question one thing that i will say is I make these YouTube videos to help martial arts school owners and make it easy for you guys to grow. I don't ask for anything from you. I don't want any money from you. I don't want anything. I don't run ads to this channel in any way, shape or form. The way this channel grows at the moment is through word of mouth. So one thing I do wanna ask is if you find these videos helpful and you do actually see value in them and take things away that can help you in the future, please, please, please share it in some way. You can share it on your Facebook feed. You can share it directly to another martial arts school owner who you know is struggling, then please do so because it means the absolute world to me. Thank you for watching this video. It means a lot. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day. Peace.